Hey everybody, well, hope that you're doing well. Hope that things are going well with you as we continue to move through this shutdown period together. Uh, this is the video for Friday, March 27th. Uh, it's, uh, I, again, every week as we move through this uh, shutdown together, we'll have a couple of videos to share with you about the life and the ministry here at Redeemer as things continue to move forward. But before we get into that, I wanted to share with you a couple of words from Jesus, from John chapter 15, where Jesus is talking about the life of discipleship and how we live out that life of discipleship in our everyday life. He says these words, I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down, to lay down one's life for one's friends. And in this passage, Jesus really connects the three-legged stool of love and service and joy and how in the life of discipleship those three things work together in our life that we as we love and as we serve each other the result of that will be joy and so I wanted to share with that with you because I said I think as we move through this time of this shutdown it's not just a time to be passive and to sit on the couch or sit uh, in our house or whatever and just kind of do things passively it's also a great opportunity to love and to serve our neighbor. Uh, it's a wonderful opportunity to reach out to a neighbor, to reach out a family member, to reach out to somebody who's in need and just connect with them and say, hey, how are things going? Uh, is there anything that you need? It's also a wonderful opportunity for us to serve our community. And so many people have come together to provide food supplies and other supplies for the people that are in need in our community, our CDC, our, our uh, members, our community members, have all come together and pooled resources, uh, both uh, material goods like food supplies and those kinds of things, but also financial resources to supply uh, our, our at-risk and needy families that are in our community. So first of all, I want to say thank you to the folks that have donated. Uh, this is a real powerful testament to the love of Jesus Christ in our life. But also want to encourage you, if you've got some time over the next couple of weeks, to just spend some time helping distribute these food goods uh, to the people in our community. Uh, we've got a couple of opportunities this weekend from uh, on Saturday morning from 11 o'clock until 2, and also on Sunday from 1 o'clock in the afternoon until 4. We will be distributing food to needy people in our community. If you have questions about that, talk to Becky Wade, or if you'd like to just donate a couple of hours, just swing by church. Uh, and Becky will uh, give you some assignments about what you can do to serve our community. Another thing I want to tell you about is uh, our Sunday morning devotional time will be posted on Facebook uh, at, at the Redeemer Lutheran Richmond public face group. Uh, last week we put it on our private group, but this week we're going to be actually doing it on the Redeemer Lutheran Richmond page. It's the public page that we'll be uh, showing for folks. So again, that'll happen on 10 o'clock on Sunday morning. I'll send out a real quick uh, note on Sunday morning that says, you know, here's where it's happening. Uh, this will be coming up at 10 o'clock just to let everybody know that it's coming up. Uh, and then at 10 o'clock, I'll do a Facebook Live short devotion uh, just to share, again, the message of Christ with us today uh, and on Sunday. So again, if you've got needs, if you've got questions, please do not hesitate to send me a note, to, uh, to drop a phone call, uh, send me an email, whatever. We'd be glad to uh, help you in any way that we can. And we continue to pray for you and for our Redeemer family and our Redeemer community as we walk through this shutdown time together. So continue to pray that God's presence and his peace would be with all of us as we move through this time. Thanks very much. Look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.